Okay, so tech difficulties galore last night. So I had to put this old one back up for the time being. So now I'm going to show you how to change your Comcast modem out with a new modem. So you'll need a new modem. You'll also need a phone. Uh, if you have Xfinity Voice Service, which we do, so I'm going to need the phone that is currently hooked up to this router. Or modem, I'm sorry. You'll also need the phone of whoever the account holder is. They're going to text me a six digit password that I need to enter. So I need that phone. I am not the account holder. Obviously, my phone is right there. So, alright, so first things first is to just straight up unplug this thing. So I'm going to unplug it from down here. This cord here is not going to be compatible with this new modem, so I'm just going to toss this on the side. I'm not going to need that. Okay. So the next things to do is just disconnect the Ethernet cables. Disconnect the phone line. And last but not least, the coax cable here. The phone line is pretty much the topmost cord. The coax cable is the bottommost cable. And there you go. So now that this one here is no longer in use, then we take the new modem here. So first I'm going to hook up the coax cable to the bottommost thing here on the back. Now the reason I'm not taking all this plastic off is because if something goes wrong I want to return it and I want it to be in pretty much brand new condition to look like it. So make sure the coax cable is on there tightly. If it's on there loose, it's probably not going to work correctly. There we go, nice and tight. <clears throat> Next thing to hook up is the phone line. So I take the phone cord, I'm going to hook it up into telephone 1. Okay. And then last but not least, you want to plug in the power cable. Take the power cable here and plug it right in the back, right above the phone cord. Now, when I plug it in, it's not going to light up because, once again, it's got an on-off switch on the back. Or on-off button, I should say. So I hit the button. Now we just have to wait. These are going to start blinking in a minute. You have to wait for the fourth one down to become a solid green. So it'll take, take a minute or two. So. So now, as you can see, that fourth light is steady. It's not blinking. So I'm going to take the uh, Ethernet cable that they had given me that was included with the modem, plug it into the back. It's pretty obvious where it goes. It can only really go in one spot, especially on this router or on this modem. Plus, on this modem, it's color-coded yellow, the port. So yellow to yellow. Now I'm going to plug this into my computer. Which first I'm going to turn this on just so you will see what happens as soon as I plug it in. So it's open at my desktop. So now when I plug this Ethernet cable in, it's actually going to go ahead and open up my internet browser to a web page that says, you know, activate with Xfinity or something. There we go. It says, hey, you have Comcast. So, I'm 
I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to click next, because it says if connecting your own modem, if it's not an Xfinity one, it's some kind of third party one like this is, uh, go ahead and just click next. If it is one from Xfinity, you just want to click there or download the app. But this is third party. Next. Yeah, this is why you need the account holder's phone. You could also just go with the Xfinity ID and password. I do not know that. I am not the account holder. I just have the account holder's phone. So mobile phone number. Got to do the capture. So I'm going to enter in the phone number and then it's going to send a text to it. You know, one time password. It'll send a six digit code to the phone. I'll enter that and then go to the next step. Just to not give away the phone number on screen. So now it pops up and says it's been verified. Is this the correct address? So I'm going to click next. So obviously there's some kind of issue. I'm going to click try again and see if that'll fix it. If not, then I have to just quickly troubleshoot why it's not doing it. Actually, uh, never mind. It's <laughs> as you can see, as soon as I said that, it starts activating my services. Do not unplug. Wow. So actually the cable box just flashed. Okay. Okay, there. You have my home phone number. Go for it. Leave some spam calls. So it says this can take up to 10 minutes. I'm not going to wait 10 minutes filming. And it actually popped up with this network. It's network 2. Do you want your PC to be discoverable? Blah, blah, blah. So you say yes, because this is a home network. And then you wait. Okay, so actually it's telling me down here that I have internet access, so I'm just going to go ahead and test it. There you go. Just like that, loads NHL.com up super quickly. So the last test is to test the Xfinity voice service. So when I hit this button, we should hear a dial tone. And there we go. And ladies and gentlemen, that's how you swap out your Comcast modem and activate it. Couldn't be much more simple than that, minus all the random tech issues. So, there you go. If you like the video, please just give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. It's I don't have much feedback, so it's very helpful if you tell me. So, thanks again for watching.